So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, recorded live on blogtalkradio.com from the new media and American League Baseball capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, does that mean this one's live? I think so, yes. (laughs) Joan Van Ark is a beautiful woman, an iconic television actress, Thank, and an iconic television actress thanks to 13 seasons playing Val Ewing on Dallas and Knox Landing. So what on earth is she doing as a guest star on My Name is Earl? Today, we'll investigate. Joan, welcome she's to the She's having Canadian. a ball, is what she's <laughs> That's what she's doing. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. So, so all of America wants the answer to this question. Earl? <laughs> No, I told them when I met them on this role, I said, I, uh, there were two shows I wanted to be on, Dirty Sexy Money, and that was canceled, or My Name is Earl, because it's goofy, fun, I love their point of view and their sense of humor, and it's kind of uh, sort of rural, but not, and the characters we pl- uh, the one I do is a desperate housewife of Orange County, and it's a send-up of that, and so it's sort of over-the-top glamour, so Valene... Who, you know, Joan Van Ark, who lived with Val for so many years, to do a part like this, I jumped at it. I loved it. <laughs> so what, uh, what is your interaction with, uh, with, with Earl and, uh, and the cast? Earl comes to, uh, into the, uh, it, actually, the uh, community that we're in, Joy, moves there uh, in a part of the witness protection program, and she's sort of moved to Orange County-esque, and Orange County-esque uh, community. And there are three housewives, uh, Morgan Fairchild is one, and Andrea Parker, who was on Less Than Perfect, is the third one. And the three of us kind of ignore her. We're sort of snobby, but finally, uh, you know, during the half hour, uh, we bring her into the fold. But it's a silly, silly send-up. And Earl teaches us about karma, about how to do good, you know, doing good for others brings good back to you. So that we, having tried all the 12-step programs that the housewives all try, this is a new one for them, and they love it. Well, you know, it's interesting because the show has always attracted a very high caliber of uh, guest star and cameo. Well, Danny uh, Glover, we did this. just We filmed it just before Christmas, and right after the new year, Danny Glover was to come in and uh, play, I, is it Randy's father, I think? Um, hmm. And so Danny Glover is going to, you know, and I believe he's Oscar nominated. Uh, he was going to come in and, uh, you know, a cu- do a couple, three episodes. So, That's funny. But, uh, you know, I'll tell you why. Greg Garcia, who is the executive producer, he was on the set every single moment. He's there like daddy watching over. And, you know, I, I was so impressed with that. And to see his relationship with Jason Lee uh, and the two of them collaborated and would change things or work with each other, it, it just... It was such a good vibe. I mean, it starts at the top, and I would say Greg Garcia, who is the executive producer, it starts there. Hmm. Nancy uh, Lenahan, who plays Earl's mom as a recurring character and is also now on uh, Worst Week, was, was actually on with me a few days ago and said that Greg, working with Greg Garcia was just great, that he's just yeah, so involved. You know, if you say, what did I take away from there, I must say what really impressed me was his presence his point of view, his spirit, and his talent. And mm. I, and uh, the other thing was, it was a, a truly um, collaborative, comfortable set. You know, when you guessed, uh, you can sort of pick up the vibe. And this, this was a very productive and family-like, in the, in the true sense, a family-like set. And I, I think they're in their fifth season. But uh, it, it's it's a nicely well-oiled machine, and it's not forced. It, it actually uh, you could feel the camaraderie and the family feeling um, for real. Is, is this a role that you'll get to maybe come back on again? Oh, I would kill only because you know <laughs> it was the wardrobe. No, I would because I love goofy, over-the-top glamour. And the wardrobe person uh, came up with the idea that I would always be in leopard. So every outfit you see me in, and including an eye mask when I'm sleeping, all has leopard on it. So, I mean, I had more fun. Um, sure, I would love something like this to, to, to reoccur, but I think that this was sort of a one-shot in that it was, you know, taking place in that community. And Joy moves out of there, so I think they, they uh, move on. Uh, well, I, but did you come out of that thinking, gee, I wonder if maybe Greg would have a good idea for a show for me? 
Well, I'll tell you what I would love is just yeah. that I think um, I did a, a nip tuck where we uh, with Donna Mills and we were cougars. I think that there is a scripted show in in doing uh, Desperate Housewives of Orange County or some city because I mean Desperate Housewives that is Mark Cherry's show on ABC that's its own thing but there's a different kind of blonde bimbo look that uh, you know there could be a, a another take on Desperate Housewives it's a little like Ab Fab. Well, I saw this morning. I think Nicolette Sheridan is leaving Desperate Housewives. Maybe there's a maybe there's a house opening there. Are you serious? You read that? Where I saw that this morning. Uh, TVGuide.com, yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, far be it, that's far huge be it, news. Because I always said to Mark Cherry, always, I've seen him, you know, at Rubber Chicken Dinners out here. I said, I want to <laughs> play Nicolette's strong-out, alcoholic mother that explains why Edie is the way she is. And he said, that's yeah. just what Donna Mills said to me. So... <laughs> I thought, uh oh, oh. Well, we're already lined up. But uh, oh my God, that's that's huge. That's huge. I see I'll the claws coming where, out where did there. You say, too. TVGuide.com? I think that's where I saw it this morning. Yeah, in their okay. uh, yeah. Wow. Well, let me before before we run out of time, I want to ask you about knots. Uh, you guys did a reunion, I think, in '05. Is there any likelihood of another one? Well, funny you should mention. Um, it's not exactly a reunion, but it's one of sorts. I got a, uh, I don't know how you, uh, an email letter last night uh, mm-hmm. from TV Land and says that Knott's Landing and the cast are up for one of the three major awards on the TV Land Awards, which will be April uh, 19th. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, congratulations. Uh, and so TV Land is, at least we're nominated. I don't know, they didn't even say what the award is. They're hoping to get every... Uh, you know, the major cast members on Knots, but there would be some sort of a reunion of sorts um, in April of this year, in just a couple months. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, so that will be on the TV up. Land Awards, which is the, their seventh one. Uh, I think it's on TN... No, it's on... Uh, what is the TV Land station? Isn't there a... Whole... TV Land. Yeah, t- yeah, I think it's TV just TV Land. Land. So, so it would yeah. be on that network. That's so. a fun. Uh, that's a fun award show. That's always uh, actually more... yes. I've read about it, and in fact, Donna and I did the very first one. We presented to somebody. I can't even remember what it was, but Donna and I did the very first TV Land Awards. So I remember that. Well, um, we're going to run out of time, and I, I want to uh, just tell everybody that you can see Joan Van Ark in the February twelfth episode. That's today for those of you listening live. Of mm-hmm. My Name Is Earl airs Thursdays eight p.m. on NBC. You can also yes. catch the episode at any time on www.nbc.com. And keep up with Joan Van Ark's latest work. Check out her website, www.joanvanark.com. Bless your heart. Thank you, thank you. And I hope the audience will tune into both both websites and uh, watch it on NBC tonight at 8 o'clock. Terrific. And thank you so much for joining us at Mr. Media today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Pleasure. Take care. Okay. Thank you, Bob. (laughs) Bye-bye. And, of course, for more great TV star interviews, surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with Kyle Bornheimer and Nancy Lenahan of Worst Week, Josh Gomez and Vic Sahay of Chuck, as well as other familiar faces from shows such as Seinfeld, The Starter Wife, Tell Me You Love Me, Weeds, and, yes, even Lassie. And please think about writing an online review of Mr. Media casting a vote for Mr. Media, or marking Mr. Media as one of your favorites, whether you listen on Blog Talk Radio, Pointer Online, Digital Journal, Podcast Pickle, Vox, Folio, Mediafly, Podfeed, uh, Blueberry, Zencast, or Odeo. We're also available for subscription on the Kindle Reader. You can subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at andelman.com, A-N-D-E-L-M-A-N. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash andelman. Folks, I always appreciate when you take time out of your day to spend it with us. Please come back.